This is the Music History Today podcast for October 16th. On today's show, Credence breaks up and the Grand Ole Opry gets a little more diverse. First up, though, on this date in 1951, Little Richard recorded for the first time. In 1956, Elvis Presley's film Love Me Tender premiered. In 1962, Motown started their package concert tour with Mary Wells, Marvin Gaye, The Supremes, Little Stevie Wonder, and The Contours. In 1965, singer and actress Leslie Uggams married her longtime friend, Graham Pratt. In 1972, the group Creedence Clearwater Revival broke up. In 1975, Bruce Springsteen performed at the Roxy in Los Angeles, California, which led to him getting noticed by the mainstream media. In 1986, Chuck Berry held his 60th birthday concert, which was filmed for his film documentary, Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll. In 1986, same day, Marie Osmond married her husband, Brian Blosel. In 1988, the Smile Jamaica charity concert to help Hurricane Gilbert victims was held in London, England. In 1992, Sinead O'Connor was booed when she performed at the Bob Dylan Tribute Concert at Madison Square Garden in New York City. The audience was reacting to the incident on Saturday Night Live a couple weeks earlier when she had ripped up a photo of Pope John Paul II. In 2003, Apple released the Windows version of the iTunes Store. In 2010, Nicki Minaj set a record at the time for most songs to debut on the Billboard Singles Chart in the same week with seven, with Bottoms Up with Trey Songs debuting at number 11. The record has since been shattered a number of times. In 2011, singer-songwriter Paul McDonald married actress and screenwriter Nikki Reed. In 2013, actress and singer Kristen Bell married actor Dax Shepard. And in 2017, Ed Sheeran broke his wrist and elbow in a biking accident, which made him cancel part of his Asian tour at the time. In classical music in 1942, Aaron Copland's ballet Rodeo premiered in New York City. At award ceremonies that were held on October 16th, in 2012, the Grand Ole Opry inducted only its third African-American member after DeFord Bailey and Charlie Pride. It was Darius Rucker, lead singer of Hootie and the Blowfish and successful solo country music singer at that time. Albums that were released on October 16th include in 1964 when the Supremes released A Bit of Liverpool. In 1965, Cher released All I Really Want to Do. In 1967, Brenda Lee released Reflections in Blue. In 1968, Three Dog Night released their self-titled album. In 1969, Three Dog Night was added again this time releasing Captured Live at the Forum. In 1973, Creedence Clearwater Revival released Live in Europe. In 1975, Aretha Franklin released You. In 1976, Thin Lizzy released Johnny the Fox. In 1978, Elton John released A Single Man. In 1981, The Eurythmics released In the Garden. In 1983, Thin Lizzy released Life Live. In 1985, the soundtrack to the movie White Nights was released. In 1985, same day, ZZ Top released Afterburner. Both of those albums would actually become very popular that year. In 1987, Manfred Mann's Earth Band released a Mask. In 1989, All About Eve released Scarlet and Other Stories. Eurasia released Wild. The Goo Goo Dolls released Hold Me Up and Kate Bush released The Sensual World. In 1990, Paul Simon released The Rhythm of the Saints. In 1992, Buju Banton released Stamina Daddy. Also on that same day, The Offspring released Ignition. In 1995, Cast released All Change. Natalie Cole released I've Got Love on My Mind. Suggs released The Lone Ranger. Tears for Fears released Raul and the Kings of Spain. In 2000, All Saints released Saints and Sinners. The Cocktoo Twins released Stars and Topsoil. Faithless released Back to Mine. And Kylie Minogue released Hits Plus. In 2001, Michael McDonald released In the Spirit, a Christmas album. New Order released Get Ready. Journey released The Essential Journey. John Mellencamp released Cutting Heads. And Ozzy Osbourne released Down to Earth. 
In 2007, Government Mule released Mighty High. Aretha Franklin released rare and unreleased recordings from the golden reign of the Queen of Soul. R.E.M. released R.E.M. Live and Borrowed Tunes 2, a tribute to Neil Young, was released that day. In 2012, Donald Fagan released Sunken Condos and the Rolling Stones released Light the Fuse Live 2005. And in 2016, Leonard Cohen released his final album, while he was alive anyway, You Want It Darker. Singles that were released in the UK on October 16th include in 1957 when Elvis Presley released Santa Bring My Baby Back to Me. In 1964, The Supremes released Baby Love. In 1973, The Doobie Brothers released China Grove. In 1980, Billy Joel released Don't Ask Me Why. And in 1981, The Little River Band released The Night Owls. Meanwhile, in America, in 1984, Pat Benatar released We Belong and R.E.M. released Don't Go Back to Rockville. In 1989, Prince and Sheena Easton released The Arms of Orion off of the Batman soundtrack. And Phil Collins released Another Day in Paradise. And in 1995, Todd Terry released the remix of the Everything But the Girl song, Missing. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on October 16th include singer John Mayer, Wendy Wilson of Wilson Phillips, Flea of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Bob Mould of Husker Du, Bob Weir of the Grateful Dead, Fred Turner, Bachman Turner Overdrive, Dave Lovelady of The Foremost, Tony Carey of Rainbow, Gary Kemp of Spandau Ballet, singer Nico, Emile Ford of Emile Ford and the Checkmates, singer Sugar Pie DeSanto, songwriter Bert Comfort, X Factor winner Shane Ward, singer Max Bygraves, Roger Hawkins of the Muscle Shoals Rhythm Section, Cordell Mawson of Parliament Funkadelic, singer Sham Idris, drummer Nate West, rapper Jala Brat, singer Inna, and organist Charles Lloyd. Artists who unfortunately passed away on October 16th include composer Jan Swielink, who passed away in 1621 at the age of 59. Music theorist Joseph Del Mendigo passed away in 1655 at the age of 64. Composer Giovanni Capelli passed away in 1726 at the age of 77. Composer Silvius Weiss passed away in 1750 at the age of 64. Composer Antonin Frederick Gresnik passed away in 1799 at the age of 44. Composer Juan Landetta passed away in 1814 at the age of 34. Composer Friedrich Frohlink passed away in 1836 at the age of 33. Pianist Edward Wolfe passed away in 1880 at the age of 64. Composer Carlo Pedrotti passed away in 1893 at the age of 75. Composer Felix Arndt was rumored to have passed away from the flu during the 1918 plague epidemic at the age of 29. The aforementioned organist Charles Lloyd passed away in 1919 at the age of 70 on his birthday. Composer Carl Nielsen passed away in 1939 at the age of 63. Composer Eric Westberg passed away in 1944 at the age of 52. Composer Granville Bantock passed away in 1946 at the age of 78. Composer Hale Vandercook passed away in 1949 at the age of 85. Rock and Roll Hall of Famer and Chess Records founder Mr. Leonard Chess passed away in 1969 at the age of 52. Legendary, iconic jazz drummer Gene Krupa passed away in 1973 at the age of 64. 
composer Yakov Godovac passed away in 1982 at the age of 87. Opera singer Mario Del Monaco passed away in 1982 at the age of 67. Violinist George Liberace of The Liberace Show. That was Liberace's brother. I wish my brother George was here. That would be the one. He passed away in 1983 at the age of 72. Songwriter Dana Seuss passed away in 1987 at the age of 77. Jazz drummer Art Blakey of the Jazz Messengers passed away in 1990 at the age of 71. Pianist Jorge Bollet passed away in 1990 at the age of 75. Music teacher James Wilde passed away in 1996 at the age of 68. The iconic jazz singer Etta Jones not to be confused with the other iconic jazz singer, Etta James, passed away in 2001 at the age of 71. Singer Len Dressler passed away in 2005 at the age of 80. Singer David Riley passed away in 2005 at the age of 34. Tuba player Tommy Johnson passed away in 2006 at the age of 60. Rapper Idea of Idea and Abilities passed away from drug issues in 2010 at the age of 28. Tim Hauser of the Manhattan Transfer passed away from heart issues in 2014 at the age of 72. Music producer and guitarist John Jennings passed away from cancer in 2015 at the age of 61. Stuart Edwards of Edison Lighthouse passed away in 2016 at the age of 73. Country music singer Johnny Bush passed away in 2020 at the age of 85. And drummer Ron Tutt passed away in 2021 at the age of 83. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is October 17th when in 1972, Eminem was born. <laughs> 